I like to do a session in my callers workshops just about square dance structure because one thing you can do if you understand structure is you can simplify or make more complicated the same dance by just putting it in a little different structure. Um, so, uh, f for example, uh, duck for the oyster and die for the clam. You want to do it at a one-nighter. Um, you what I one version that I use is a cumulative version. First couple out to the right, circle up four, pick up two more, circle six, pick up two more, circle eight. Couple number one, dive for the oyster. Couple number three, dig for the clam. Couple number one, go through, let go hands. In a ring of eight. In a ring of eight, pull everybody through. Um, that works out pretty well without people getting too boggled uh, doing it in a two-couple version. So that's one one possibility for duck for the oyster, dive for the clam. Um, you can also do it as a two couples do it, then three couples do it, then four couples do it. This is the figure, and that's actually a traditional way of doing it in some dance communities. Um, or as, Which would then, in those communities, I mean, couple one would go out to couple two, and they would do it, then they'd pick up couple three. Three and, and do, do it with three couple, couples. And couple four. four and and then it. couple two, two would, would do, go out do, to couple three. Exactly. So the dance goes on yes. for ten minutes. Yeah. Yep. And actually, if you want to do the, the Morgantown, West Virginia version, then you get in the big circle at the end and have everybody do it, you know, <laughs> it's, and have all sorts of other things involved. So that's another possibility. I mean, or, you know, another possibility to get even more complicated, probably what I'll do tomorrow, is the version that they did at Maryland Line, which is a strict visiting couple, except for the fact that there's no middle break, ever. Couple number one goes out, dances with two, they go on to three, when they go on to four, two starts, and then two continues. And when one gets home, they stay there. When two gets home, they stay there. Three starts. And it just keeps going that way until everybody's done. So as a visiting couple figure, it goes pretty quickly. Um, they also do a kind of a Georgia Rangtang variation as well. But um, So there's all different ways that you can take the same figure, make it, much less complicated or more complicated depending on what crowd you've got out there and how many variations you want to throw in. Uh, and when you talk about that in structure, it's understanding that the square has the one figure that it's built around. Exactly. And all the rest and is then the, the, the way, presentation. The way a particular community chooses to do that figure in the context of either a square or even a big circle, um, you know, and so you know you can do it as a strict. If you have beginners, a strict visiting couple, first couple, second couple, third couple, come home, dance a break, second couple goes out. I mean, that's one structure, or the, the this kind of Maryland line structure where there's no break at all and just everybody keeps on going, which is more, much more confusing but much more fun for experienced dancers to do. Uh, and the same is true with figures like Birdie in the Cage. I mean, there's a numerous ways you can structure Birdie in the Cage to make it simpler or more complicated. Um, I, I'm always looking around for, you know, different versions that I can use with different groups. Um, when I was looking at Ralph Sweet's book, his old book, Old Time Dancing, um, and I think it's in his new book too, he has, a, he has a dance he calls the figure eight, which is basically a speeded up, somewhat simplified version of the grapevine twist or the, um, the, there's another name for it that I can't think of, but you know, it's, so instead of having first couple out to the right and around the lady and around the gent and back to the center and then on, you know, picking up to, um, he basically just has first couple out, circle four, pick up the next circle six, all six between the last couple, and around the lady back to the center with a figure eight, back on through and around through the gate. It makes it a lot quicker. Because you're only doing that complicated Because you're only doing it once. with the, yes, once. Which makes it for a regular dance evening where you're trying to get more material and uh, maybe you only can, can do four squares that night. It makes it 
doable. You can actually, you know, not have people get really bored going on for hours and hours. But you can get that feeling of the old-time grapevine twist by structuring it that way.